Well, we think we have a little find today. Mm-hmm, we do. This is a Sauvignon Blanc from the Finger Lakes. We don't see a lot of Sauvignon Blancs, and this is hard to find. Yeah. Why is that? Well, it's not a grape varietal usually grown in this type of climate in the Finger Lakes. Mm -hmm. But for a summertime wine, you know, besides Riesling, Sauvignon Blanc is very refreshing. And so to try this from the Finger Lakes, it's going to be quite interesting. This yeah. is White Spring Wineries 2013 Sauvignon Blanc, and they are on Seneca Lake. Yeah, uh, just south of Geneva. Yep. So let's get this opened up and let's start tasting. Well, this is a true cellar tasting. Yes, it is. We're in the cellar of our uh, of our log home, and uh, well, let's give this a, a good sniff. You know, when you when you think of Sauvignon Blanc, you normally think of Bordeaux. You think of uh, Napa Valley in California. You think Chile, New, New Zealand. Zealand, and interestingly enough, those are the same places where they grow Cabernet Sauvignon. So it's kind of like a uh, the, the terroir matches both of them very, very well. You don't think about it really in the in the Finger Lakes, but I think we kind of said that earlier. Mm -hmm. So the, the the nose, it's it's typical to have noses of green grass. Mm -hmm. uh, citrus is is a big thing too. Um, Grapefruit, sometimes melon, things like that. I get more, you know, that lemon, lime. Yeah, here, it seems. Personally. Yeah, I smell the grass, yeah. and, and I get a lot of lemon. Mm -hmm. And then I also get some steel with this as well. Now they have a different type of wine that they make out in California. Well, a different way a different to different make style. it. Yeah. yeah. Some of the some of the California winemakers have actually been oaking the uh, Sauvignon Blanc, which gives it more of a you know, buttery and vanilla. Um, mm -hmm. Taste and smell, and uh, what do they call that? Uh, it's Fumé Blanc, which is uh, just just another little tidbit for those of you who like details. Yeah, it's kind of reminiscent of a Chardonnay then, but this is this is definitely more you know stainless steel, mm -hmm. and, and that's the way I like Sauvignon Blanc. Mm -hmm. Sauvignon Blanc has to be crisp. It has to. You're going to want to have that sharp. Sensation. You know, these are these are dry wines. Unlike Rieslings, which can be sweet, semi-dry, or dry, this is dry, and and, and that's you want, you expect that. Um, I get predominantly citrus um, on the palate, almost like uh, lemon drops. If you've ever had those as a kid or something mm -hmm. like that, where it's it's really really sour. The only thing you don't get is a lot of the sweetness, which is good. I don't want the sweetness, as you mentioned. Um, and maybe a little bit of grass in there, but it's it's very it's pretty much straight forward forwards from the beginning to the end of the tasting. Yeah, it's it's I get a, a predominant um, sour mm -hmm. taste through it. Mm -hmm. Maybe a little too sour, um, but I don't mind it. You know, certainly if I was outside in the heat, I think I would like this. Mm -hmm. Considerably mm -hmm. paired so. paired with the right dishes. Or appetizers, yeah. I'm sure. If you haven't been down to the Finger Lakes to do some wine tasting, get out there while the weather is conducive, <laughs> right? Something great to do on the weekend, or if you have some time off during the week, get out there and, and visit some of those wineries, and then get out to your wine store and, and, and explore some different varietals. Make it your goal this summer to try some varietals, some different wines that you haven't tried before, right? Yeah, it's it's so good to, to reach for a bottle that you're not familiar with, mm -hmm. because you can really widen your perspective yeah and just diversify your palate don't always go dry and don't always go sweet try different stuff you might be surprised so. and don't drink and drive mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> all right we'll see you on our next video i'm david and i'm leah and this is wine forecaster